What's up, everybody? Patrick Jensen here, ready for another Twitch stream. Uh, it is Wednesday night, and I'm just going to have some fun free sketching. There's no real plan for this evening. Um, uh, I, I am working towards like more structured classes and, and streams, and uh, I'll definitely let you guys know um, when I get those uh, put together and ready to um, yeah, put, put those on. So um, in the meantime, while I keep uh, developing that curriculum and stuff, um, I'm just going to pop on here once in a while, uh, at least once a week. And, uh, but I've been doing like twice or three times a week now. So, um, but at least once a week, I will pop on and do some, some free sketches with you guys. Um, and, uh, kind of in the AMA style, uh, feel free to ask any questions you want about, uh, the gaming industry, the film industry, uh, what it's like, um, uh, doing concept art or matte painting. Um, so I've had a little, uh, experience doing both those things and, uh, would be happy to talk about stuff. So, um, if you missed this live stream, uh, feel free to come back, uh, for the next one and you can follow me on Twitter or Facebook and, um, I will let you know when the next one is and, and, uh, give you, give you a heads up so you can hang out and stuff. Um, let's see what else. Uh, and I really appreciate if you spread the word, um, that'll mean that, uh, uh, you guys are liking this content and, uh, it's only going to get better, uh, especially in January. That's when all the big stuff's going to be happening. So, um, uh, and I'll be covering topics like, uh, what is style? How can we create style? Um, how do you take the foundation skills that you're learning and apply them to working in the game or film industry? Uh, with your art, um, how to get better. You know, I'm constantly learning. Uh, all of my coworkers f feel the same way. And so if I can like help you guys learn a little bit more and uh, vice versa, um, you know, learn from each other and stuff, that's why I'm doing this. So um, I'm pretty excited about it. And uh, I can't wait to um, see how this goes. But again, if you're, if you're liking uh, what we do and stuff, um, sure appreciate the likes, subscribes, or shares. Uh, that'll that'll mean a lot. So, um, yeah. So I guess we'll go get go ahead and get started. Um, hey, I already got someone on Twitch. So if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, this is streaming live on Twitch. So I might talk to the talk to the chat here, but I'll try to repeat the questions and stuff um, as uh, people pop on and, and say hey and stuff. So uh, yeah. So. We're going to get started. So like I said, it's just going to be a free form kind of thing uh, tonight. And um, just going to have some fun painting and see what we can do. So I hope you can join and say hey. Uh, let's see, for this one, um, there's a theme on one of the uh, uh, Facebook groups, um, the Daily Spit Paint, and the theme is Dangerous Garden. And uh, the idea is you um, have to spend, or you spend like 30 minutes, um, and you try to come up with something revolving around that theme. So uh, I think I'm going to just take a stab, see what we can do in 30 minutes uh, along that theme of... Uh, a dangerous garden. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to just rough in, where's my color? I'm going to rough in some, some shapes, values, and things and get started here. Now I'm working on a canvas size of 1200 by 503. Um, this is like super, super widescreen um, format and we might change the composition as we go. Um, but right now I'm just kind of getting in some texture and stuff, so, and then we'll go from there. Um, let's see. Now, what I like to do when I sketch, um, as I lay in texture, I'm kind of looking for compositional ideas and things. I don't really have a plan right now. And let's see, let's log the time. So it's 9.45 p.m. Pacific. And uh, so we'll paint till 10.15 and see where that gets us. Now a garden, dangerous garden. 
So I'm thinking like maybe it's an RPG level or something. And because um, uh, if you think of a garden and as you go through it, what makes it dangerous? Like are there dangerous plants and stuff? Um, or is it the plants or is it where you are in relationship to the garden? Maybe it's in the way of you getting somewhere else. Uh, I don't know, but um, right now I'm just playing with this could be an aqueduct kind of terrace thing. Delivering water to the, the garden. I don't know. Just playing with it. See if see if this sparks an idea. But um, yeah. See how it goes. Let's see. Now, if we have. Okay. Let's see. What if. Mm. Ooh. Okay. Um, this is the figuring out stage as I try to figure out what I'm going to paint. And that's the fun with these personal sketches. I don't quite have a plan versus when working in a production environment like for film or games uh, you'll definitely want to know I mean <laughs> you'll have a task of what you're what you're doing right and um, as far as like uh, we need you to design a character or an environment that fits in the story or during this moment and um, and you can look at what's been done before and what it's leading into sometimes if, if something's been done that's ahead of your sequence or whatever you know so you'll have a lot more kind of um, structure to your your thought process right versus this is just free sketching based on a theme um, so and I have no style reference you know I'm just kind of painting how I like to paint um, so uh, this could go any such direction I'm not sure um, but what I'm trying to say is like if this seems random kind of is because <laughs> you know it's just a fun sketch right okay so we're indicating a little path that starts here and it kind of goes back over to the left here maybe around the corner and maybe up here this is kind of fun and what if it ends up here okay now I'm thinking this is pretty centered right here where this structure is I'm liking how this might end up so we're gonna keep going with it um, and so I'm gonna just increase the canvas up here a little bit like that okay and then you'll see up I, I was thinking maybe like a if this is a garden leading to the main structure and stuff, maybe it, it goes along the path there up to that big castle up there. So, so someone in the chat asked, what's a sequence? Yeah, so uh, as I was like um, in a game or film, um, you'll have, you'll be like, let's say you're playing a 10, 10 hour story or something, right? And if you're in a certain level for a certain amount of time, we would call that a sequence. So like the sequence of the, the arrival at the docks or the spaceship level. I guess level is a better word if uh, if you're in the game environment. Uh, in a movie, it would be like what sequence or what movie sequence are you that? And so, um, uh, you can, you'll be assigned to like, a certain area or something so like let's say you have to flesh out the intro to when we meet this character and he stumbles on this garden and he's got to go talk to the king or whatever and it's a pretty dangerous garden so it's that kind of thing where um, I'm kind of setting up maybe a scenario to give to help myself kind of create what's what is this imagery then that, that we're making and stuff but anyway it's a little easier in film and games and stuff when you when you have that that base to start from. So as you can see, I I have 
a couple values working. Um, got some darks, got some mids, and some light uh, values. I'm not concerned about color because you can always change that. Um, but what I will do is I know I want to get a little bit brighter out there, not in the garden, because I want the garden to be dangerous and scary, and so I'm going to create some more shadow areas in the garden. But uh, I want when you get out of the garden to be pretty, pretty happy and stuff. So we're going to go ahead and increase the value. I'm going to invert that. Control I to invert the mask and then paint with white in the background, okay? So I'm just pumping the value of the background, okay? And I'm liking this composition. Could have some big foreground tree elements there and then uh, kind of create this path going back, so cool. All right, also color-wise, we have a we have kind of enough to get started on color, so I'm gonna just kind of do a little color balance shift and see if we can't get this into a fun palette. Um, reds are fun. Red is dangerous. Uh, stereo, I don't know, cliche, but uh, it is fun. Okay. Well, let's let's try it. Um, I'm gonna invert that mask, same thing as before, and just paint that in the foreground. Get these trees a little redder. Cool. I think we're ready to keep painting. So in the background, let's see. Soft light? Let's try a soft light layer. We gotta get some greens in there, because this is a garden. <laughs> and unless we're it's a dried up garden, we gotta get some greens. So I'm gonna start with a bluish base. And then get some greens in there. Okay. Now they're a little limey green, but again, we can change all that. So let's see. Okay. You know what? Okay. So we're, we'll work on that structure later. This one back here, we gotta just indicate real quick. Um, so I'm gonna just throw down some some values and stuff and try to get this thing figured out a little bit. Sometimes I paint dark like this because I can just fog over it and then back it up, back it into space, you know, in depth and stuff through that with that atmosphere. Um, cool. Let's see. And let's go ahead and try to get something in along these lines and pick our shadow color to be somewhere in here, a little warmer. Okay. So we got these grassy areas. <laughs> okay. Cool. And we'll work on the uh, the trees in a second. Okay. Okay, you know what we need? We need a little bit of a... So I'm gonna create a new layer, and this guy is pretty fun for just blocking in branches and stuff. So I'm gonna try to get a bunch of branches here. And then we can add texture within that by just preserving transparency on that layer. So these guys are a little smaller and they're farther back. And then we got some guys way back there. Okay. Cool. That's enough. Uh, all right. So I'm going to hit this guy, preserve transparency on that guy. And then let's just go ahead and fuzz some shadows at the base, you know, because as they get towards the ground, they will get a little darker. You might have bounce light from the ground, but I'm just going to start with that, with um, darkening it. And then I'm going to take uh, this pinkish color and then bring it over into the gold a little bit and just spatter this stuff. 
smudge it. Okay. And get some stuff on there. Okay. And then we're going to, you can actually create a layer and clip it to that layer. Um, and then I can do my shadows separately if you want. You don't, you can just bake it onto the original layer, but I like to sometimes clip a layer to that one. And you can do that by uh, alt dragging it over that layer, or you could just control alt G and that does the same thing. So, okay. So now that we got those twigs in there, you want leaves to be in front of those guys, you know, because you're not going to be wanting to see all the trunks of these guys, right? So let's uh, take that shadow color and I want these leaves to be pretty red. Let's just go ahead and jump in here and grab that red. Somewhere in there, okay? And cool. Okay, so now we're thinking about, since we're popping out these highlights, I'm, kind of, I'm trying to get a, a diagonal kind of mo mo <laughs> movement uh, from the top right down. So I'm just going to uh, put these highlights in and kind of bring these shapes down. Okay. And then maybe at the base, we're a little cooler with these little shrubs and things. Okay. Cool. Okay, nice. All right, we need to fog out the this castle back here just a little bit. And actually, there we go. Yeah, let's create some uh, bounce light from the ground here. So we're just gonna fade that up. And let's see if we can redden up that a little bit. There we go. Cool. All right, let's work on this background a little bit um, and the path. So let's see. Nice, cool. New layer. How are we doing? OK, this has been almost 15 minutes. And we have a pretty, pretty nice composition going, I think. Kind of liking it. Um, it's a little happy right now, but we can also we can always mood it up afterwards. So I'm just kind of blocking in the stuff that makes it read like, um, or you know, I'm trying to explain the space, right? So I'm just thinking about getting the major things in in there, and then I can play with colors and stuff on top. Okay, so let's see, paint line textured. Okay, so back here, kind of want mountains back there. Maybe mountains, or should we keep it forest? I don't know. Let's uh, let's play with it. Okay. So let's see. We need some more atmosphere and fog. So see how this gets darker. It could get darker. Let's see if we keep it darker. We could make them trees back there, or we could come to that light fog that I'm kind of developing here. Hmm. I'm not sure. Uh, you know what? Maybe one of these is broken to just suggest that something is off here. You know? That's cool. Okay. Get some reds in there. And this path is good, but um, it's not quite selling that it's going around that corner and up. So, let's see what kind of uh, someone asked what kinds of tricks will you do to make it scary or dark? Um, so, how I like to paint um, is is getting these these uh, the forms in kind of like this, and then it's all about adjustment layers and like those big broad strokes that we're, we're going to do a lot of those at the end. Uh, so you'll see how to kind of make it scarier because right now it's a little bit happy um, and so uh, there's there's a couple tricks and you'll see you'll see in a moment just how we kind of make it a little scarier and stuff so hang in there <laughs> that's a great question okay uh, for example right now 
uh, I don't want to work on this area too much, and I and I definitely want it darker. Um, so I know those two things. <laughs> it's not our focal point. So uh, what I'm going to do is just bring it bring it down. I have a soft light layer, and I'm just going to uh, kind of play with what colors you add there to just darken things over here. So that's what that is. And we'll get a little bit under here. Um, yeah. We can always punch holes in it afterwards. Uh, and I'll show you show you what I mean by that in a second. Um, all right, continue painting. Okay. Now this guy kind of wants lighten, what? Maybe? Okay, let's keep going with the structures because that's going to help a lot. All right, so we're just going to get an airbrush. And what I'm going to do is window, arrange, new window. And I'm going to bring this guy down. You've probably seen me do this before. I like to get a, a zoomed out version down here. And then I, I work on a zoomed in version up here. And uh, just so while I'm cranking out these details like this, I can have an overall view of the composition down here. So I'm working on that right now. Let's see. So let's see. This is too thick. So bring that down. And okay, cool. And then let's get some highlights on that guy. Cool. Okay, this guy. Kind of liking, liking how this is looking. It's pretty fun. You could get real shapey with these uh, trees and stuff, but we, we don't have a lot of time to work on the style of stuff, but this would lend itself well to real shapey stuff like what you see in Cinderella or something. Be fun to go back and work on it more. Um, okay, this guy. Yeesh. Okay. Um, all right. So what I'm thinking is this. It, <laughs> this is the same scale as that guy, right? So I'm going to just copy it, paste it, and do something like this and try to see if that helps get this thing looking bigger. And I bet you it's not going to do it. We're going to have to do some other stuff. So let's see. So this is all part of the problem solving that you, that goes along, goes in your mind to try to figure this stuff out as you encounter problems and stuff. Just grabbing some highlights and popping out some forms on this guy. Oh man, maybe it... Maybe it's got like a big hole in the back or something. I don't know. We'll see where it goes. Okay, should we do something with the sky? It was pretty boring back there. Let's see. Um, let's go, let's do reddish kind of. Okay, how are we doing? We have 10, uh, 11 minutes left, all right, for this half hour sketch. Okay, so we're wrapping things up. And I'm thinking, okay, we got to work on the, the scary bit, the scary stuff. <laughs> and really, it's about mood. Um, so let's see. This version, we're going to save this. So I'm going to copy everything and paste it. So I have that. Um, now let's just, uh, one thing, I know I go to this, but uh, the color lookup, I'm just going to hit one of these and kind of 
scrub through it and see if I hit something that's nice and punchy, but um, let's see. Uh, we could do, ooh, nice. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can work with this. So that one uh, took out a lot of the contrast and stuff, so I'm gonna bring it back. And let's bring it around in there. But uh, I, don't, it, I don't like all of it, so I'm gonna group it and just turn it down just a touch around there, okay? Now let's see, let's try some color balancing again. Take those mid-tones, and I don't know where I wanna go with this. Um, my, my instinct tells me cool, go cool colored, uh, just to make it a little bit more uh, you know, on edge and stuff. Um, yeah, it looks good. It's kind of nice. It just dropped the greens overall. Okay. Now, let's see. Copy everything, paste everything, and then we got to we got to do some some more to it. Let's see. Um Okay. What if we uh Okay. I'm gonna bring out that mid ground just a little bit more, and you know what I'm thinking? Um, this sh these shadow areas. Bring this into the cool. Okay. Yeah. What would really help is is getting a character in here, looking around, and just more time. <laughs> but uh, this is all we got, so. Let's see. You know what I want to do? Let's get uh, um, as if there's like hanging moss or something, you know, uh, on this on these guys. But it's red. Uh, we'll get darker with that. Let's see, we on? Oops. Oh, come on. Hold on. There we go. So now we're just kind of smudging things and getting it into a place where we can we can call it quits for this thumbnail. It, and I call it a thumbnail, yeah, because you know this is a more of a composition exploration, a mood study. Um, it's as much as we can do in this time. So um, yeah, we'll just see how much more we can do with it. Oh, you know what? You know, in movies, you got the uh, uh, top of frame, you have a neutral neutral density filter. Is that what that is? I think so. What if we get that into the and just bring it in there a little bit? Okay. And let's see. Let's just take out some of that. Got some of the reds. Nice. Cool. Sweet. It was getting a little red, you know? Um, so that was just taking some of that out with the color dodge or color color dodge. Uh, color balance. Okay. Now I'm just gonna work in some of these last little details. Uh, let's see. Do I have something that'll help me out? Um we could do I know, I got a few of these. 
Uh, we could do this guy. Get some grass in there. Smudge it up. Okay. Oh, you know what? Puddles would help. Just to make this place look a little bit more ominous. And... Do we have time? We have five minutes! Awesome. Alright. Let's do, uh... Come on, select everything. Oops. Copy, paste. Oop. Keeps doing that. Okay. Probably having trouble with that. Okay. Uh... Gotta do it by hand sometimes. There we go. Still getting used to streaming and painting because and seeing how like fast I can push things. Okay. So we're just gonna get some blue fog over here. Might want to purple it up. Mm, not that much, but that's okay. All right, poke some holes in there. And then let's. Actually, I'm okay with that. That's fine. Screen. Uh, cool. Is that good? That's good. All right. We need some ground breakup. And we'll get a puddle in there if we can. Okay. Uh, so, just go light for now. And then hit some dark around the puddle. I mean, it's uh, not gonna read here, and but we can try. We can try, guys. Doing my best here. Is this a stump? Sure. This thing's way too big for the structure. There we go. Okay, let's get that up there. Okay, sky needs help. So when you adjust the sky like that, uh, like I did earlier, sometimes you got to paint over it a little bit just to bring it back because otherwise it looks like yeah, you did some adjustments to it, you know? So you just paint over it a little bit and then uh, uh, you can... Um, it starts to look a little nicer, so... Cool. All right, gonna bring this up. We got three minutes. Man, this has been fun. And then this guy got lost in our in our adjustments and stuff. So we're just gonna ping that guy up and bring him back a little bit. Cool. Now the shape of this tree is really, really bad, so I'm just going to try to fix that. And see what we're doing here? We have this, uh, you know, big shadow area and it kind of gets all light out there, which is kind of nice. Um, so, um, leading you into the scene, um, making you wonder, how do I, do I feel safe? walking through this little garden. I don't know what this is. It could be blood. It could be just... Uh, I'm just going to leave it for now. Um, pretty little hole in the sky. Get some warmth in the bottom of that cloud. There we go. And this one too. And then this is not reading a sky. We either go lighter back here or darker on the trees. So I'm going to do darker on the trees. See what that gets us. Not so green. There we go. And that'll help pop this castle out. Or structure. It's not necessarily a castle, is it? Okay, this one needs to come darker too. All right, it's a little saturated. Is that on a layer? It is. Control Shift U desaturates it, 
And I kind of like that color, so let's keep that. All right. All right, little light up here. And last few few minutes here. Just got two purple. Bring it down. And we have time to just refine a little bit. Okay, so this guy we can get. All right, a little more shaping on these these trees. Break it up, bring in those shadows a little bit. And this didn't quite work out with the blue. Uh, so I'm just going to bring it into that green. And then who knows what this is? Is that a bush? I don't know. It's just a negative sh or a, <laughs> a shadow shape right now. So we'll just bring that like that. Oh, happy accident. Loving the orange. We will keep it. Can't just be in one spot though. Unless you got something going on there. Because your eye will go right to it. So we're just going to echo some of that orange over here. And maybe in these bushes. All right. Last few moments. Is that reading up back there? Oh, you know what we could do? Just hit it. Oh, nope. Wrong color. Hmm. Some... Oh man, we could spend forever on the on that sky. That's okay. Okay, and and oh, see this? How that's working over there? Just lost that. So over here, because we darkened everything. So we'll just bring back some of those twigs and branches. That we lost. And yeah, seems good. Uh, yeah. Last little look. Hit that guy. There we go. Oops. There we go. Dangerous garden. Thirty minutes. Yeah. Nice. That was fun. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. That was that was super fun. Um, looking at this, you know, now that we're finished for now, this is, you know, maybe we'll continue on this, I don't know. But um, uh, I got to put pens down, you know, so I can post it to the uh, Facebook. And if you're watching this from Facebook and you like this video, uh, that's awesome. I'm, I, I hope it was helpful. And just uh, sharing some of the thought process and stuff as we do this kind of uh, mood study concept thumbnail environment sketch. So, um, yeah. So, uh, but yeah, looking at this now, um, I, the, the mountain back here is pretty awful. And we didn't quite sell the path going up. It kind of works, but um, the fog overall is, is I'm, not, I'm not happy about. And this is a little punchy. Uh, too contrasty and I'm, I'm not digging the uh, design of the uh, the building back there but hey we got something back there um, just trying to invite you into the piece and create this kind of sense of what is going on you know what is this place with the suggestion of maybe some ruins over here um, and these uh, scary trees um, so yeah in the in the moody sky of course and it's kind of like that overcast uh, feeling um where you might you have some sunlight and stuff but um it's it's overall that kind of uh like it just rained or something so um yeah 
So I hope you guys enjoyed that. We will we will keep going. That was a lot of fun. Uh, let me just save that real quick. Um, so we'll save this as a dangerous uh, garden. Large. And save. Awesome. Cool. Know that. Someone on Twitch was asking if this was from scratch. And yes! We'll just buzz through this again for a recap. Uh, so bam, quick, uh, basic three values. I mean, I, there are some colors, but we changed them as we painted. And then um, getting some more values to work with. So brightening up the sky and then uh, bringing in some foliage, some greens. Uh, this is when we brought in the branches for the trees. Um, getting those red leaves started, fogging out the background, helping the road and just painting now. Um, Darkening up this foreground element and the, the base shadow from that tree. Uh, highlights on the tree. Destroying the architecture a little bit. Figuring out that building, which is terrible, which we should fix, but we don't have time. <laughs> and then uh, this is this was getting a little too happy, so we, we brought down the saturation. And then uh, we played with the colors to get some of that, that cool uh, overcasty feeling, you know. And then... Uh, Brought in those hanging uh, red Spanish moss stuff. A uh, little color adjust again, cooling it down. It's getting a little warm and red. Bringing in some grass, and then getting that feeling of light in the center here. Uh, working on those mountains a little bit, and then painting on top those last little finishes. Uh, I almost like this better if we, we stuck with that <laughs> as far as uh, an easy read, but. Uh, we ended up here and um, there's definitely more to have your eye bounce around with and uh, with some more refinement uh, this could turn out to be a nice piece but uh, yeah there we go that was fun all right let's see we'll put this guy here all right let's see So another one of the themes was lightning ball, and uh, I'm not sure about lightning ball, but uh, let's see if we can come up with something. <laughs> Might not be a winner, but um, we will certainly try. Um, let's see, lightning ball. All right. Well, let's start with our canvas. And uh, I do like to work widescreen like this just because I'm, I'm so used to painting for, for games and, and movies. Um, thinking about the uh, uh, other frame of what you would see. But um, you can start with anything. And as we saw with this one, we changed the composition a little bit as you go. Um, so let's see. Okay, what time is it? 10.23. Let's do a half hour and see what we can do with uh, lightning ball. The theme is lightning ball. Okay. So we're going to have fun with effects here. So if you ever wanted to paint lightning, uh, I might, I'll, I'll show you some, some ideas of how to, to go about painting effects like that. There's certainly so many ways to do things. Um, I'm just really kind of, um, you know, I change it up as I go every time too. So, but I, I do have some ways of doing stuff like that. But um, I'll be happy to show you, and then you can see if it works for you. If you ever have to do that. So right now, again, I'm just painting uh, colors and textures, and uh, we will we will see what comes out of it. Um, And I'm thinking maybe, oh, that's fun. Sweet, oh, no way. Okay, so just doing that uh, made me think of the movie, uh, The Sphere. 
Um, and what if we do something along those lines? Let's just see what we got. 1023. So we'll go to 1053. Uh, okay. And see what we can do. So what if, oh man, what if there's a huge sphere that's holding lightning? Okay. And you've got like, you know, the ground kind of leading in. And what is going on here? It can't just be lightning because that's too boring. I mean, we can make some cool, you know, like those electricity balls, but I don't want to do that. Um, unless it's like, where is this thing? Is it somewhere cool on a spaceship? Is it about the guy, <laughs> the little dude in the corner coming up to this thing? Uh, and he's like really tiny. Hmm. Lightning ball, lightning ball. Um, what if, I'm sorry, I'm thinking guys, let's see, it's good to think, okay, well, could just keep going with it, well, I don't want to do a flat composition, we already did something flat, so let's save that, let's do a new one, uh, what if we take this guy, uh, paste and you ever play that game Osmos for the iPhone? It's very good. It's a classic, but it, this thing reminds me of, of that game. Okay. What if uh, thinking, thinking, thinking? Uh, oh, you know what? We could just do actually, let's go back to this. No, not that. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna paint and think, what if there's a guy back here? And he's like, hi, you can... Uh, that's a lightning ball, isn't it? Who doesn't love painting Street Fighter dudes? Okay, let's see what this happens, what, what this does. So we gotta stay a little dark so the lightning reads, uh, but we could get... Let's get dynamic with it. Um, And then there's a dude in the front. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay. And he's like, ah. ah. Okay, okay. Now this, let's just get it started. Oops. Okay, so maybe... So this is a color dodge. We'll just get some like foggy stuff going and then we'll work on the lightning later. But I'm just kind of indicating where what this thing is. Okay, we gotta work on his pose. Uh, Uh, foo, foo, foo. So he's got his hands out like that. Oh man. Figure sketching in 30 minutes. 
It's not my strong suit, but we will do our best. That's all we can do, right? There we go. Uh, okay, cool. And we got to get his hands in there. All right, so we'll get a nice fleshy color. It's kind of in that cool palette that we're doing. And get his hands like... Okay. Cool. Pose. Okay. Sorry, I'm zooming a lot. Just kind of trying to get the right zoom. Okay, this light on the front of the knees. You know, he's... You'd be more like... He'd be, he'd be bracing more. He'd be falling back into it. Uh, Just get a little face in there. <laughs> oh man. Get those white eyes. There we go. Just help us out so we know what we're doing. That's the scale of them. And then we can, we can always add a face if we get time. And this, hey, we're going to 53. We got 23 minutes left. Hey, thanks for the follow, Space Poet. Thanks, man. How you doing today? Are you on the computer? Are you able to chat? Okay. Where are they? We got to figure out where they are. Let's see. Um, what, ch -ch 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 what am I doing? There we go. Uh, we can actually grab from that. Okay. Let's get some. Okay. Let's see. And then this is coming at us. Oh. Okay. Ooh, okay. So what we could do is widen the effect of this this electricity, this lightning ball. So it's like, oh yeah, there we go. Okay. So what if everything around him is just distorting from the blast of this thing? It's already adding like impact to this thing, right? So we'll just, it's its getting more dynamic. Okay, cool. So we'll get this here. Got to help out this guy a little bit. Um, gosh, you know what? Um, let's see, we got uh, Ryu. Let's get some reference. <laughs> sure, doesn't matter what. I just need, need to see who we're painting here. And then, uh, who's he fighting? Anybody? Well, I'll start with Ryu. If anybody wants him to fight one of the Street Fighter guys, let me know in the chat. And we'll, we'll give this guy. So we can't go full white because we are in this cool scenario. So we're going to go into this blue. And uh, uh, we might grab this like purple for his red. Let's see. Oh, he's got red gloves on. I wanted kind of flesh hands, but... We can make them red. All right. We'll get real hot with them because that lightning is going to be a lot of light. Okay. And okay, cool. So if you're just joining, we're doing a little Street Fighter scene. Um, wasn't always going to be that way. We were kind of dancing with. Uh, the idea of what if he's like leaning into it forwards? I'm just gonna check this out. Uh, oh gosh, this is yeah, having trouble with this guy. 
So we're doing a little Street Fighter scene, and we're going to have some fun with some effects in a second. But, um, yeah. Okay, where are they? Are they in the jungle too? <laughs> Should we just make it easy? Because we don't have a lot of time. Let's do it. Okay, let's see. This is getting too light, so I'm going to just get a multiply and bring this down. Okay. And let's see. And let's go ahead and get some effects in there so we can kind of see what we're doing. So sometimes I group uh, some layers and I, I call this group, you know, effects. Okay. And then I put all that stuff in there to see. Uh, you know, I can turn it on and off. So if I need to work on the painting that's on the on the bottom, I can turn it off the effects layers. So uh, the first one, instead of normal, let's just do a hard light. And we're going to change our brush to color dodge. Okay. Then we're going to select a color that's kind of a saturated blue like that. Okay. Now I'm doing a, an airbrush, you know, like this. Okay. But what's fun about this is, um, you know, if you if you go over the same stroke, it just gets lighter and lighter, and it looks like that glowy kind of look to it, you know? So you can just kind of paint, 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 and get this thing working. Now, I'm tapping on the keyboard to make the stroke a little bit bigger as I'm as I'm painting. And I'm I'm now decreasing the size as I paint. So like every time I stroke, I I increase the uh, brush size. Uh, and so that's how I'm able to kind of, you know, create this, uh, see every stroke, it gets bigger and bigger. And then I might paint softer and softer, and then you get that bloom, see? And then I'm decreasing size as I paint, and then building up the layers to get that kind of, you know, that white, that hot white. And so I'm thinking about, okay, this energy is like overlapping itself and it's just hitting this guy, which we haven't defined him yet, but we will get there. But uh, that's his like shoulder. And uh, let's see, now we're just smudging this thing uh, a little bit. Okay. Cool. Nice. Now I'm going to make a new layer and also set it to hard light. And I'm going to take out some of the cyan, put it into some blue. Um, so it's not as, it's not the same like energy as the main, you know, fireball, right? Uh, or lightning ball. So, and that's going to be used for the uh, out here. So I'm just going to work on bringing bringing this energy that's coming from this this whole thing and just uh, slowly build it up okay this is the light on the ground from from that guy okay and see this is helpful because we can kind of see what the composition is looking like and we can paint the rest of the scene you know to fill in the gaps because when we look up when we look from far away we can start to see that that uh, that how you can uh, coming at him. So here we go, and that might be enough for now. Um, now we're just dirtying up that line so it's not so airbrushy. Okay, and then what we could do is do one more effects layer. Is that it? The hard light, and let's just grab a uh, like. Maybe in a yellow, like a real white yellow. Okay. And I'm just going to do the same thing, but real fine, um, real small brush, right? So now we're just creating those little lightning tendrils and stuff. So you have the main shapes, right, that we kind of put in there. But... Uh, 
Now we're getting those smaller ones. And what's fun is you can you can sharpen up this layer, a filter, sharpen, and you'll see how that will kind of help but not look like um, small brush strokes. And then we can glow it a little bit, and then you'll be good. And it'll reuse lightning. And then this guy, oof. Also lightning, you can play with the, uh, see how we're doing a curve and then a straight and then a straight and then a curve? You know, uh, lightning kind of does that where it, it's not always the same jaggy, you know, it's not always that, right? So feel free to play with it. And then I've got the brush a little hot, um, larger, and then you just go over the corners a little bit. And uh, it kind of brightens up those little lightning bolts. And same thing with this guy. Oh, and I talked about sharpening it. So let's just go filter, sharpen, sharpen. One more time. Too much. Back up. There we go. Okay. And this guy just got hits. Let's just poof. Let's create a little. These little guys coming off the uh, from the hit. Sweet. Oh, these guys. Cool. Okay. Let's wrap it up. 1041. We got 12 more minutes. Awesome. All right. Ah, let's see what we got to do. Okay. This guy. Oh, man. I'm just... So now, uh, let's see, I'm going to put this layer out of there. Now I can paint over the effects or under the effects. And see, now we can just turn it off and paint on the painting uh, and then turn this on for the final finish, right? But I'm going to go ahead and paint on top and see if um, we can wrap this up because we don't have a lot of time. But when I like, I like to stay more organized. Um, um, you know what? Maybe he's fighting Guile. Let's just do that. Let's do it. Where is he? Ooh, this one's good. More photoreal. Uh, you know, okay, let's just grab. Eh, it doesn't matter. Let's grab the classic dude. Copy. And paste. All right, so we're doing these guys. Cool. So he's wearing a tank top. We're going to cool down that tank top. Oop, not too much. Grab that green. Add a little bit more blue down the green a little bit. And we'll get something in there. And we can even, I got that flesh tone going, so we'll keep that. And let's see if we can get this looking like them. Oh, you know what? Let's just. Now the silhouette of him is not reading it, but that's, we're going to work on that now. So hang in there. And we might not be able to make it sell, but we're going to try. Uh, is his arm up? Let's just... Oh boy. Uh, hmm. What if we... Nope, not that one. It's getting... It's getting... Oh. Just checking the scale. Too big? Uh, maybe not. 
I think it's okay. I'm going to hide that selection. And then I'm just going to um, darken this guy a little bit. It's flat top in there. Oops. Okay, keep going. Just keep painting. What do we do? All right. So, you know, as you can see, I'm a very, very much into um, uh, pixel pushing. There are some people who can who can do their line art, which would help tremendously in this moment uh, of figuring out his. Um, you're watching me fail terribly because <laughs> I don't mind. I don't mind. But you know what I mean? Uh, I am pushing paint to find his his shape and silhouette and stuff. Um, for me, that's quicker. Um, uh, just for these kind of quick sketches. So forgive me while I, I just really fail at this. Sometimes you just gotta fail a little bit and see how it looks. See how it looks terrible and then fix it. All right. So we got his pants going. Okay. Uh. And we're just going to, because I'm having trouble. trick. Actually, let's just make a new layer. Let's do this. Sometimes you, you need some help. Hey, Bobby Draws. Good evening, man. How are you doing? So we're just going to put that line in there and then see if that helps us a little bit because I was having trouble with his silhouette. So. There we go. Yeah, we'll just smudge that out and 
get this in there and bring this up. There we go. Let's see how we do. The tangent with the side of the frame, which we could change the composition, but let's see. Let's just do this for now. And then You're good. Running night oil. Nice. Doing well. Thank you. We're uh, doing a little Street Fighter scene right now. And uh, we had a little fun with uh, a garden scene down here. A little moody, moody uh, garden. So. Just kind of wrapping up this guy. Let's see how we did. Better. Still awful. <laughs> but hey, can't win it all, can you? Let's see. Figures are too ambitious for me in uh, such a short amount of time. But uh, see how it goes. Let's see. And you know what? I can just uh, let's bring this down a little bit. Invert that because that's too much, and then we'll just paint it over here and get this guy darkened a bit and bring him out a little bit. Nice, all right, new layer, and we'll do screen layer. And let's see, yeah, let's see. Oh, we just got a few more minutes on this guy. Let's see if we can't just suggest some stuff back here. Kind of finish it off. Get his knees in there. Cool. And let's select everything, paste. And what if we just and then bring some of that highlights on them? Oh, Bobby Draws, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. And ears are always a little warmer, so we're just going to pop in some of that. Gosh, that is a terrible guile, but alas, I need more time to do figures. There we go. Okay, and let's see. Uh, 
Huh. Nice. You just tackled me across social media? <laughs> nice. So we're just creating some shrubs here. And and last little effects touch is you can make a new layer set to hard light like we did earlier and um, get your big airbrush and uh, go ahead and get that saturated blue and you can just do that light bleed over them, you know? And then let's see if we can do any last little things and then we'll call it because we only wanted to spend a half hour on this guy. All right. Oh. There we go. Break. Uh, let's see. Help out some of that perspective. And little shockwave repercussion over here from that energy. Little hits there. Just creating some texture. Kind of fudge it up a little bit. Sure. There we go. You can't draw his face covered up with stuff. <laughs> ah, I'm just kidding. But not not really. There we go. I think that's it, guys. Look at that. I think that's it. A couple more highlights. Bam. There we go. Yeah. It's a nice little color thumbnail of a lightning ball. That was the theme. And we ended up on a little Street Fighter scene. Um, yeah. That works. Think of it as a, a thumbnail, you know? Um, for, for, it'd be fun to do like a bunch of these and find like the right composition for this kind of moment. But um, I think we did, did pretty good considering, man, figures, figures are tough for me. Um, I usually need much more time on them. Environments I'm a little quicker on. Um, but uh, yeah, that was, that was fun guys. <laughs> man, that was crazy. I'll put that there. All right, let's save that. Street, well, Street Fighter, but uh, let's do Lightning Ball because that was the theme. Boom. There we go. Nice. Oh, that was fun. That was fun. Dangerous Garden, let's see. Could do another one. What time is it 11? I need some water. <laughs> Uh. This could be good for now, though. Let's see. Oh, should we call it? Should we do another one? What do you guys think? Yeah. Could do another one, I guess. Let's see. Maybe not. Maybe we'll call it a night. I think we'll call it a night. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this has been awesome, though. This has been awesome. I'm sorry, Bobby Drives. And uh, the rest of you guys, thank you so much for coming. Um, yeah, I will be on soon. Uh, <laughs> I know. 
And um, yeah, if you like this, uh, feel free to pass it along. Um, yeah, these are just kind of mood sketches, um, compositional ideas, getting a sense of the space. Um, this kind of thing could lead to doing more fleshed out versions of uh, like, uh, for example, this one. The next steps I would take is kind of figuring out this architecture. Um, maybe do different pa palette studies if, if, if this were a mood piece. Um, try different scenarios where you have more shadow shapes from these trees or um, you know, maybe the light isn't over here, maybe it's in the in the foreground here and all this is in shadow back there. So when you do something like this, um, it could go in so many different directions. Um, but that's kind of what I would think about if I were to to take this further or explore it, you know, um, because these these are kind of what I when I do mood studies are like compositional sketches. Um, and uh, uh, this is kind of uh, the process. So you can see how I do that. Um, and this one's like more action moment. Um, it, you know, just getting the read and uh, a, a quick read of what's going on. And um, could have done so much more on this with some more time. It's it's tough with figures for me. Uh, but yeah, that's all we got for 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 uh, tonight. Uh, so yeah, um, I'll post these on Facebook. And um, for all of you that tuned in, thanks so much. And um, I'll put this on YouTube as well. Um, everything's metavisuals. So if you go to youtube.com slash metavisuals, uh, you'll find this video. Um, I will post it there. Um, you can also find me on Twitter, which is at metavisuals and here on twitch.tv slash metavisuals and Facebook. I will, uh, post lots of stuff there. Uh, Millie JPEG. No, don't leave. I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> you can watch the other ones if you haven't, I will be back. Uh, but thank you guys so much for tuning in, and uh, I hope to see you next time. Yeah. All right. And have a good night. If it's your night, have a great morning and a good day. If it's your, your morning. <laughs> see you.